Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Homestead Quest. My name is Amanda, and today we are gonna go in to the beehive and do some maintenance. Um, if you hear some squawking, it's my little baby chickens wanting back in the run. It's still light out, but um, the sun is setting, so they're wanting back in really bad. So we're gonna let them in in a second. But uh, originally this episode was gonna be a vlog, a little bit of everything. I was going to just put my inline feeder in the beehive, and um, give you guys a little bit of a tour of my garden. But once I got into my beehive, I realized that a little bit more needed to happen than what I initially thought. So this is just gonna be a beehive body maintenance episode. So yeah, guys, come along with me and we will do some beehive maintenance. Okay, let's do some maintenance on this hive. So this is the day after I did my last hive inspection. I wasn't able to finish cleaning up all of this drawn comb that is on the inner cover and on the frames because it started to rain and I just didn't want it raining in the hive so I had to close it up and continue cleaning on this day. And I did actually get stung. I was wearing my gardening gloves which protects the palm of my hand, not the back. So here I'm wearing my actual gloves. It doesn't give me as much dexterity but it is what it is. Um, but as you can see, I'm getting all of the beeswax off, and I got it out, and here's all of the beeswax I have to make some candles with. So here is day two. So when I went in to do my inspection and then also when I was cleaning off the frames, I just realized that that one honey frame that is left isn't going to be enough to get them through the dark that's going to be coming up here. After the dandelions die, we have about a two week period where there's not much for them to eat. So those honey frames usually should suffice because I had two. They ate through the first one very quickly and replaced it with comb or with brood rather. And the other one on this side that I'm pulling out, it does have quite a bit, but not enough to get us through that dark. So my mentor told me to go ahead and move it on to the other side next to the brood and then replace it with an inline feeder where I'm going to feed sugar water and that's what this is right here. And that should get them through that period where they're going to need more food. And here's the sugar water going in. The ladies were a lot more cooperative and not as aggressive on this day, which is nice. They've been kind of testy the last couple of times that I've been in the hive. But now that they have sugar water, they should be good to go. But I was not able to fit in that seventh frame because they drew out a bunch of comb. So this is my third day getting into the hive in a row because my mentor did tell me that you know, six frames just isn't gonna be good enough and I need to remove all of that drawn comb that's on the side wall there, um, just so that they're not encouraged to build where they're not supposed to. And since it would be deeper comb probably, he said that all they would do is probably just put drones in there. So this is me moving out all of the frames again and moving things around so that I can clean off all of that drawn comb from the side wall and be able to fit in that seventh frame. Um, when you're going to, when you have an inline feeder, of course you're not going to be able to fit in eight frames. And it is a tight fit because the inline feeders are thicker, but you do need all seven frames in there. You just don't want the bees to feel encouraged to build comb where they shouldn't be. So there's some there. Lots of cleanup. I'm going to have a lot of good beeswax to make more candles with, with which is nice. I might even use some of the beeswax to put on the frames that will go on the second deep that's going to go on top of this one just to help them out a little bit. Drying out comb takes a lot of time and energy for them. So here's some more cleanup. Just getting all of that comb out. The ladies were very cooperative on this day as well, which I was appreciative, which I was appreciative for because I just... <laughs> I've been stung two days in a row, which is just not like them. So just trying to pull out all this beeswax and now I'm moving everything back into place. I have this sped up, but I'm going very gently and trying to move all the frames at once as to not squish anything, especially the queen. And then here is the final frame that I'm going to be sliding in here and everything is finally as it should be in the hive. There we go, guys. 
All right, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for coming along and checking out my hive maintenance episode. I hope you all have a great week. See you later. Bye.